Hi friends! American startup Draco Motors was founded in 2013 by entrepreneurs and engineers Dean Draco and Shiv Sikand. They set themselves the task of creating a supercar that would set a new level of handling and therefore they immediately chose the concept of an electric car with four independent motors, one for each wheel. Their first child three years ago was the Draco GTE Sedan, converted from the long-suffering Fisker Karma. But in the same time there was a development of completely independent supercar, and finally it is unveiled. This is Furious Tires, and here we go. Draco Dragon isn't only the most powerful and fastest crossover in history, but also a new type of car. This is how the developers tell about their unusual and spectacular creation. The Italian design bureau Grand Studio, headed by Louis Vermersch, who was previously a member of the Pininfarina Studio team, worked on the look of the novelty. The crossover has a coupe-like silhouette and two huge galvanic doors, without B-pillars. Instead of side mirrors, cameras are installed that broadcast the picture to separate screens in the cabin. We could already see a similar feature on the Audi e-tron. By the way, the Germans recently updated this model and I already told about this in one of the recent videos. It's a really big car, 200 inches long and 81 inches wide, and in order to lighten this giant, the company decided to assemble the body entirely from carbon elements, so that it is twice as light as a similar steel one. The new roof is completely glass, and compact rally lights are installed about the windshield to increase driver awareness in extreme conditions. As for the main lighting, the headlights and taillights are said to be very detailed, with futuristic digital visual cues and unique LEDs for maximum visibility. I also cannot but mention some features to improve the aerodynamics of the car. The rear flying buttresses serve the dual ethos of striking visual style and functional aerodynamics giving airflow rearward towards the rear end and its diffuser. The front wing's sculpted lines allow air to pass through the nose to reduce drag and create downforce as speed. In addition, the Nolte has an adjustable suspension with two racks for each 23-inch wheel. Let's look inside, where we are met by a five-seater cabin with lightweight carbon fiber seats as there is not a single button on the front panel. All of them are concentrated on the steering wheel, including the buttons and handles for turning on the turn on signals outdoor lighting and windshield wipers. The media system with 17.1-inch screen, and the rear passengers also have their own displays. The Draco Dive OS control system was developed by the company itself and is based not on the CAN bus, but on the USB architecture. The company claims that this allowed to increase the speed of data exchange and reduce the length of the wiring. Draco Dragon has four electric motors with a total output of 2000 horsepower. Each of them has individual control, which gives a wide range of thrust, vector control, and electronics can only reduce torque, but also turn on the recuperation mode on each individual wheel. The SUV is even able to turn around on the spot, like a tank. The traction battery is located under the cabin floor and it is made by Draco independently, so it has an advanced liquid cooling system and allows charging up to 500 kW. Battery capacity is unlisted, but a full charge should last 420 miles on the EPA cycle. The crossover with a curb weight of 2254 kg is capable of accelerating to 60 mph in 1.9 seconds and a top speed of over 200 mph. All this colossus is topped by brakes with carbon ceramic discs, 10 piston mechanism on the front axle, and 6 piston ones on the rear axle. Draco Motors has already begun accepting orders for Super Novelty. The regular deposit is $500, but the first 99 first edition cars require a $5,000 deposit, and the price of the EV itself is $290,000, which is still a modest amount compared to the Draco GT Sedan, for which they asked for $1.25 million. The company intends to produce 5,000 cars annually, although there is no suitable production site yet, and therefore the start of mass production is scheduled only for 2026. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope the video was interesting and I wish you a good mood and see you soon. Bye!